There are two different uh, view types uh, we can use in Open Buildings Connect uh, Edition. We have dynamic view types and cached visible edge view types. The dynamic view type is the original uh, view type that we, we had in the, in the series of products. The, the dynamic view type uh, is akin to what we see when our view is evoked in a 3D model. It's a true representation of what the model looks like when cut from the model. You'll see the difference when you select a beam like we have here, and you can see the infill of the beam uh, is, is, is being highlighted and, and the objects beneath it are being highlighted as well. And it's a good thing when uh, things uh, have their true representation. But what we often find in our drawings is we, we do want them more 2D-like, i.e. more line work-like. So that's where the cache visible edge comes in. It runs a process to flatten the elements uh, to 2D line work and other 2D symbology. It gives the user more control when the drawing needs to be updated and what the drawing uh, looks like. Uh, and adds for a little bit of designer license as well. The default behavior in Open Buildings Designer is the cache visible edge method. Changing your drawings in your drawing model between dynamic views and cache visible edges can be done in a number of places. Firstly, from the reference file dialog box. You can see you have the visible edge field there. And by clicking on that, you can alter the visible edge state between cached and dynamic. Within cached, we have a bunch of options as well. There are also some settings boxes in order to refine the accuracy and speed in which your cache visible edges are produced. And that can be found with the little cube and the, the lightning bolt symbol there. There is also a quick access to the state change of the dynamic to cached. It's in the drawing production tab where you see dynamic or cache listed there. So here we can have a look at this drawing which is set to, to cached. If we select the elements or click on the elements, you can see there they don't get to fill in the middle and we can uh, uh, treat them very much or view them very much as, uh, as, as lines. And to see this a little bit clearer, let's have a look at our reference file dialog box. You can see here we have the visible edge set to cached. And obviously clicking on here, we have the option to go cached or dynamic. If we just deselect that so it's back to its normal colors, if we go for a uh, place block tool and set it to opaque, and we'll choose a color, say a light gray color. Let's say we wanted to gray up a certain area of our model. We can pop that box down. Now what we have to do here is set the reference file order of priority back behind the live data in this file. So we can use the properties update sequence and we can set the reference file to the, to the last thing red. And you can see that line work appearing on top. Very much like a, a 2 we would operate in, in a 2D fashion. However, if we set this to dynamic, you'll notice the difference. The, the beam members become solid elements um, and anything that is that we're looking down upon that has a solid element will very much block out that uh, uh, line work behind it. Again, it's also in play, we just delete that, that if we're doing some um, if we're doing some drafting, that the line work will appear behind solid elements. Again, if we set this to cached or cached automatic. Any line work is just infused with the line work coming from the 3D model. So it's a bit more like our drafting processes. We have a lot more control about what we see and, and how we see it. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.